Hi, my name is Sabala Nolan, and I am the author of Don't Let It Get You Down, Essays on Race, Gender, and the Body. The Indigo Press is publishing my book on June 30th of this year. I wrote this book to explore and shed some light on how our bodies become the site of so much knowledge and insight and epiphany about the world. So much um, humor and beauty and deep truth and also lies about the world too. Um, especially bodies that have been subject over the years to the vagaries of racism and sexism and classism to some extent, um, like my body. I think of the body of each of our bodies really as being a place where the personal and the political are in constant collision. And in some ways, this book is an attempt to capture the sparks that fly off that collision over the course of our lives. It's also um, an attempt to explore some of the most perplexing and persistent polarities in our culture. From my unique vantage point as someone who often finds herself kind of in between the poles or not quite comfortably located um, in any particular place. You know, when it comes to race, I am a mixed black woman raised by my white mother, um, but very much rooted in my blackness through my black father. And that duality informs how I think about race. As a woman, I'm someone who's been fat and thin over and over through my whole life. I was about four years old when I was put on my first diet. And women are so deeply tethered, you know, inescapably tethered to our bodies in this culture and what we look like, that having had, quote unquote, the right kind of body sometimes and quote unquote, the wrong kind of body other times has given me some insight into how we do gender and how we do womanhood in our culture. I'm also someone who grew up without money um, and with generational poverty, you know, as, as an experience that came and went in my life through my father's side of the family. But um, I went to private schools and I've had opportunities through work and education to, to be in some really privileged elite spaces. And the tension between those two experiences um, and my sense of kind of belonging and not belonging at the same time inform, informs how I think about money and class. And of course that's related to race and gender. And all of these things are really rooted in our bodies and that's why my essay collection is rooted in the body too. I hope that you will enjoy reading it. I've certainly enjoyed writing it and I'm looking forward to being in conversation with readers in the UK this summer about the book. Thank you.